Now you're working your way into Silicon Valley. Yeah. Less than 1% of black and, my own, and minority owned businesses get funded. Yeah. How do you translate this business? Because they don't understand what weave and black hair means within our community. So you yeah, had to be going in there and selling up. I'm sure if you had yeah. gone in there and talked about video games and anything, computer apps or, or, or mobile apps, they get yeah. that. Yeah. How did you get them to understand this? Yeah. I mean, that's, that, was, that was the hurdle. Um, and then it also became the opportunity. And so um, anyway, you know, a lot of these investors, zero, zero contact with black people. Like, not even contact. Like, what's a hair extension? And then I tell them what a hair extension is. And they're like, you mean like, when I see black women, like that's not their hair? <laughs> <laughs> like, like zero clue. All right. And um, so I'm starting from zero in trying to educate people. And what that meant, though, was that when you started from zero, you get two types of people. Either the type of person who's like, get the fuck out of here. I have no desire to start from zero and get into something that I have no idea about. Or you get people, and it's a lot less people, but you get them who are like, I'm looking for something that nobody else knows about. I'm looking for something crazy. I'm looking for something that not 10 other companies in this batch are going to try to do. And so um, I focused on those type of people. And I weeded out really quickly people who were just sort of like, eh, man, that just means they're not going to be in. So just push them to the side fast. Um, I ended up taking one, one, uh, one of these guys was, was interested and he was looking for things that were not the typical Silicon Valley, Valley play. And I took them on a field trip. I said, yo, you don't believe me? I'll show you. And I took them to West Oakland to the beauty supply warehouse. And like, we're in the middle of West Oakland. It's just like, you know, it's like homeless people walking around, and, you know, you know, and we go they're they're walking around. They're like looking behind them and they're all like, where the fuck are we? And I take them into this beauty supply warehouse and they get in there and they're like, where the fuck am I? Like hair on the wall, like every wall is covered <laughs> with hair. And they're like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. There's an entire market, huge billions of dollar market that you don't even see is invisible to you. Um, but we all know is there and we're part of it every single day. And that became the story. And the story is about something that's hidden and something that only a few people know about. And that's how you, that was the, that was the essence of the story that gets people excited or, or there were people that were, had no, they, they had no desire. So, um, you know, I had a lot of obviously like, you know, uh, you know, because I'm black and people aren't used to like having black people pitch, you know, I got a lot of side eyes, I got a lot of dismissals, and I got a lot of, you know, um, all the things they talk about when it comes to like black people raising money in Silicon Valley. Um, but to be honest with you, like, I expected that. I expected that, that type of aesthetic. And so I just didn't even think about, I didn't get caught up in that. I was just like, all right, what do I need to do to get it? Um, and so I separated out, you know, people really fast of like who wasn't even going to be an option to people who, 
they were looking for something that was very, very different. And I made my story about being different. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.